In this video, we're going to evaluate the integral of 1 over the square root of x plus the square root of x plus 1. And normally when we have a radical expression in the denominator, one of the things we do is rationalize the denominator. So if I have the product of a minus b and a plus b, difference in the sum of the same two terms, we know that's going to be the difference of the squares. So this will be a squared minus b squared. So in the denominator we have the square root of x plus the square root of x plus 1. So this is a here, this is b here. I multiply by the difference of these those two terms. It will give me the square of the first term and the square of the second one. And that will eliminate the radical. I'm multiplying then the numerator and the denominator by the square root of x minus the square root of x plus 1. So in the numerator, you just give me that result. So it would be the square root of x minus the square root of x plus 1. Get the dx. In the denominator, if I multiply by the square root of x minus the square root of x plus 1, like I said, it'll give me the difference of the square. So to be the square of radical x, it's just going to be x. And then minus the square of the square root of x plus 1, will just give me the x plus 1. Put it in parentheses here. So it's minus x and x cancel. I get the minus 1 here. So this is just give me the integral of the square root of x minus the square root of x plus 1. And I got the minus. I can put it out here. That would be better. Got it like this. Now we can do just basic integration here. You can look at this as x to the one half here. We can look at this one here as x plus one to the one half. And because of the root of x plus one is a one, the root of x is one, you can just integrate using the basic formula here. So we add one to the exponent there for the first one here, integrate each one individually here. So adding 1 to that gives me a 3 halves. And then I divide the coefficient by 3 halves. This gives me a 2 thirds here. And I can do the same thing with this one here. Let's just be x plus 1. Again. Add 1 to the 1 half, this gives me a 3 halves. Divide the coefficient by 3 halves, this gives me a 2 thirds here. And you got the plus the constant of integration. And I just can do, distribute the negative here. So this would be a plus here. Distribute it here, this would be a negative here. So the final answer here is minus two-thirds x to the three-halves plus two-thirds x plus one to the three-halves. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.